What's up boys and girls, welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. All right, another episode of BFFs presented to you guys by DatChat. So DatChat is a new social networking messaging app that all of us here at Barstool are on. We have a BFFs page. Everyone else here at Barstool also has their own page. It's a super cool app. So what's cool about it is it's very private. Nothing can be screenshotted. You can't forward anything. And if you want to self-destruct something stupid that you send to someone, you can. So you can talk about whatever you want, nuke any conversation you want. You can go download the app now and make sure to join our BFFs page to talk all things BFFs. Download DatChat chat for iPhone and Android in the App Store right now or go to datchat.com slash barstool to get more info and download datchat. Go check it out. I can set the stage. Josh Richards, myself, probably the weirdest combo. Dave Portnoy, since your yeah. crowd's not going to know it. That's the weird thing. I'm always with you. Mm -hmm. Usually whenever I do anything, everyone knows who I am. I know your crowd's not going to know who I am. No, they're going to vice versa. They're probably going to think like they saw you flirting with their grandma at the retirement home or something. Tough. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's, that's what I'm thinking. But yours are going to probably think like this kid doesn't play hockey. It's just going to be that all over. The, the, there's a chance they're not going to like you. Your crowd may not like me. Who fucking knows? But so we're going to try this podcast. I don't even know how it came about. It's very right. odd. Very, very odd. Came from the Chase Hudson thing. Yes, so you, you got there was a beef with him on Twitter. I talked about it. I'm like, what's going on here? And then your yeah. your guy, your man, your Michael. your Michael Michael, who's like we say in the car, one of the weirdest dudes I've ever met. <laughs> and and he'll probably become like a focus because you've been around now. And he he is your business manager. Is that what he yeah, is? A business partner. Business yeah. partner biggest name dropper of all time. I'm not Fuck, a name yeah. drop guy, and I don't know anybody's fucking talking about. It, but he set this up. What is? Are we sticking with BFFs as the name of it? I, I think that's what we were going yeah, with. Like yeah, like best friends, even though yeah. we're like clearly not. Yeah, we've been best friends for what, three days now? Three Maybe days. Three days ago, two days ago. So to give the background for your crowd, I'm Dave Port and I started Barstool Sports. Been around for like two decades. I've seen everything on the internet. Yep. To me, you've been doing it actually longer than I thought, but you're a TikTok guy to me. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I mean, uh, for Dave's fans, uh, I'm Josh Richards. I've been doing social media for four years now, started with the TikTok thing, uh, moved into YouTube, and then I'm doing a lot on the entrepreneurial side, uh, getting equity in companies and starting my own energy drink, Any Energy. So Yeah, yeah and, and I tasted it. It's pretty good. Michael, being your guy, is like, let me send you a shit ton of it. It's like, I got so much fucking drinks. I don't need any more drinks. Right. Like, no, I Michael. Know. Michael's going to be in on you about that. You're going to have 40 cases. When Trust me. Home. I know. Michael's going to get thrown out a fucking window if, as this relationship goes on. <laughs> it's going to be like, all right, dude, I get it. But so, yeah, it, it's two different worlds. And, and, my, and probably so we did, if we're backing it up, when the little huddy and for little huddy is a TikToker who is dating. Um, I always pronounce her name, yeah, uh, yeah. DeMaio. DeMaio, yeah, Demilia. Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. 100%. Who's like the queen of TikTok, basically. Yeah, yeah. She was the first. I remember she was in the Barstool offices, I want to say like six months ago, and someone told me, I was like, I don't know who that is. Next thing I know, she got 90 million followers. I saw videos of her. It's like she's the Beatles when she's walking around. 100%. So this came out because now they were dating. Little Huddy, yeah. who dresses like an asshole. A little bit, yeah. He for he he's like an emo. He dresses like an emo weirdo for those people listening. But he was <laughs> dating her number one girl. He does. You laugh, but that's how he dressed. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's his style. He 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 dresses. I think they call it e boy. E boy. It's okay. like emotional boy. I think that's so what it stands for. They were dating. Then he was trying to hit on your girlfriend. Yeah. And it became a big thing, big enough where it transferred from TikTok to people were talking about it on Twitter. And that's when I, I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And that's how this all started. And then we did the uh, Instagram Live. And I had no idea what to expect because nah. my interpretation of TikTokers, like, I have nothing in common with them. I probably won't like them. I thought the, our, our uh, Instagram Live like went pretty good. I'm like, oh, yeah. this is the normal dude. Like, I, I can like talk to him normally. Yeah, no, definitely got traction. We we were definitely uh, feeding Lil Huddy some shots left and right. Yeah, well, roasting him a little. Bit. I got a note yeah, here that says you're getting back together with Addison. And I don't want to make this like the dating thing, but these are huge stars. You're you're getting back together with Addison Ray. Is that true? The, this is like a dating show. Is your is your podcast just like a dating no? Show? But these I are the know. notes I was given from from you know who sent them to me. Grueling. Yes. 
Michael, <laughs> Michael, stop fucking trying to get me to talk about Addison. Is yeah, that true? Yeah, it doesn't we'll matter. move on from it. I got like my cards like the Yeah, day. we'll just we'll just move on from it. No, it's true. It. Yeah. So I, I think I think he's been with her at Dog Pound a couple times working out. Shut the fuck up. He's been working out with her a couple times. So, I mean, I guess we'll see where that goes, right, Bryce? Sorry, did you ask me a question? Oh, yeah, yeah, I would yeah, be nervous yeah. if you were with it because didn't Harry Styles like meet her the other day? That would make me nervous if I was actually like dating her. But I don't know. I won't go too far into it. But that if I, if that was my girl, I don't want her meeting Harry. Yo, Styles. Dave, how's yo, Dave, how's your dating life? You like fucking Selena Gomez or some shit? And I want to bring up the Sway House. So this is who is in this house. Josh used to live with them, just moved out, but they all pretty much hang out every day. I want you to rank. The Sway House for me. So oh my put God. them on the screen. You should be able to see them all. Um, we'll see if we do this right with technology. Okay. So I'm going to keep notes. Oh, my God. This person's Here's... in my DMs, I think. Shut up. Oh, my God. That's amazing. <laughs> Are you serious? That is amazing. Are you Griffin's serious? been hitting her up in the DMs already. Um, I, I think he's too young. Wait, but he's are 20, you serious? 22. What do you mean? Are you serious he's in your DMs? Yes. <laughs> What's he fucking saying? He, yeah. He, no, he's just like sliding and saying hi. I haven't opened it or anything. I just, no, I, Griffin. Is it just a I'm, hi though? Or is there like emojis? Well, like what's the word How do you know play? it's just hi if you haven't opened it? I, well, I, I've seen it. Another good point. I've seen it. I, I've seen it. I told, who did I tell that he was in? I think he just said yo. I would have to yo? get through. Who the yeah. fuck he is said this guy? Yo? To yo? <laughs> That's it. What's he expecting to come out? Like, I know, like, God, hello. Well, I know what he's I, expecting to come out of it, but like, I, you right, know but your like, like depths. I, it, it, no, no, I, I'm yo? sure he's a great guy. I just like, um, he he thinks he's been lifting too much, Dave. Look at that picture. Look at that one in the top corner. That's, That's giving him the confidence to just say yo to girls. The fact that he's been hitting the gym now, he thinks he can just get away with saying yo. Does he have a girlfriend? No. He was the one who dated one of the DeMeos. Yeah, Dixie. But uh, they broke up a while ago. Now Noah Beck's dating her. Yeah, that whole thing. And this guy yeah. thinks he's just going into Alex Cooper's DMs with a yo. You really don't have it? You can't look to see if you have anything from this guy? Well, am I being an a I don't want to be an asshole to be like, I wouldn't be able to find it now. No, you're not being an asshole. I mean, this you can literally go to his show. account and just click message. Oh, am I fucking stupid? Yeah. I can't wait. No, this is amazing. This is what we needed. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, he just said yo. Oh, strike out. If, if you're Gosh. just throwing a yo, does that mean you're just like rifling off 7,000 yos? No, hey, you know what right? I think like, it is? Like, I think it is. Messaging. I'll give him credit. I think that to DM me, I feel like he'd probably be like, I got to just test the waters. Like, I don't know if this girl's going to blow me up, like, on a podcast one day. <laughs> or, yeah, like, true. I get it. <laughs> I think, like, my – it's weird with my brand because I feel like people think a bunch of dudes slide into my DMs. But I think a lot of guys know, like, this girl next – like, the next day is going onto her podcast and be like, hello, so I got a DM from blah, blah, blah. So you have to be careful, I think, right. with me. But obviously he had – I give him credit for sliding in. Griffin, way to go. Um, how old is he? 22 yeah i you know what great looking dude but i too young we're giving him right, credit well, for getting shut all right well we're gonna rank him so okay keep that in mind okay. the guy who yep. slid in so Griffin, and he's the oldest one in sway so um, all right just know what back and i know they're young it doesn't matter that they're young. no i know i know i'm trying to yeah 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 so this is two they look alike but this is two okay am i supposed to say something about him well who, who um, you were ranking them so who's one who's two out of these two I is it so rude to say like I think that they're just overdoing the lifting like they're just oh like they're too big you mean they're just trying too hard like this is my thought if a guy has that much on his body I'm like you don't really make money and you don't have a job like you have but too much time to actually, work out what if they actually make money by the way I it's like Zoolander over there Alex I lived there <laughs> and I was fucking lifting I'm like what do you guys do it's like we wake up we lift and then we eat protein I'm like no really what do you do They're like no that's really what we do no that's definitely on our schedule 100 percent wake up <laughs> workout protein shakes and then TikTok filming and the other content it's okay I think okay no okay so this <laughs> Wow. <laughs> What's that guy? <laughs> That's tough for Blake. He just I'm got sorry, X'd. Blake. 
Yeah. He just got Jeez. fucking. Thin and you know what's no, funny? No, no, his, his girlfriend, girlfriend. You know what? Can I give you, him? Alex? Can I give him? His girlfriend loves you too. I know. I've messaged with her before to give her advice. I think this. I think that. He, you, you're playing so coy with this TikTok. You're like, I don't know what TikTok. I don't sway. It's like, oh, that guy slid in my DM. No, 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 Dave. This is the thing. <laughs> yeah, out of nowhere, she knows everyone. This is the thing. I couldn't say what his name is, but I've seen this kid because I've given his girlfriend advice. This kid, if I could give you any advice, go back to your black hair. The blonde thing on this, and this is the thing. I think a lot of dudes sometimes when they go to like bleach blonde, like Justin Bieber and shit, can look so fucking right. hot. For some reason, and this is no shade to him because he's a good-looking kid, the blonde is not fucking working for him, and he has to go back to black immediately. What? Wow. How okay. did his girlfriend get your attention? So she DM'd me, and, like, she said, call her daddy fan, and then she was just asking for, like, advice, male advice, and then I I read... Like, a how, do I, how do I use this kid for clout? No, 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 no. Um, like, look at him. He looks like a... a, a <laughs> Dork with his uh, blonde hair, but he's like famous. So what do I do? No, no, no. She, she, and he were dating. Like she's, a, she seems like an amazing girl, and she's a daddy gang fan. And she was just asking me for advice. I answer a lot of my DMs for the daddy gang if they ask me for advice, and I right. gave her advice. Okay, so he's in third. I still don't know who's first or second, but Jaden Hostler. Um. <laughs> Josh likes his kids. <laughs> hey, this is my best friend. This is my best friend in the whole world. I, I actually I number. actually don't think like I would love to hear what his, is this weird to say? I would love to hear what like his voice sounds like. Yeah, he's a rock star. He he actually does like rock music. Oh. Is this kid right. on Travis Barker's Yep. Okay. I see I follow Travis Barker. <sighs> yeah. Look at Dave. <laughs> See, well, Dave, like, she really I, knows I, I every single person. I have no idea who this is, and you do. And I'm surprised when Josh like his best friend. I don't think I met him. Uh, no, he wasn't at the Veston. He it. wasn't at the other Sway House. He's he's yeah. not. Yeah, he's not bad. What is your type? <laughs> <laughs> I, I get. I think it's Harry. No. No. Harry Josie. Um, big, big blonde dudes. Okay, right. no, you, you, no, god damn. That's I got wow. not. <laughs> that's I like Bryce. Check for Bryce. Please, Bryce and I feel bad. I'm show. not being an asshole. I'm just saying, like, no, right? So he's four. Well, you said no, you know, the other guy. So Bryce dates, um, the, like the most famous girl or one of the most famous yeah. girl. Uh, Rhett, what's her name? Uh, Ray? Addison, Addison, yeah, Ray. they were just making out. You know, Addison Ray, right? Yes, yeah, he dates her. He must have something going for him. Maybe this is that because I actually, to his face at the Sway House, was like, you're not as good looking as the other guys, but he's got something going for him. Girls like him, I guess. I mean, does he, he does really he, he's well. He's confident, right, you know? He's like yeah. a confident guy. So I think he's like, he's like the typical jock in a high school movie that's like the captain of a football team. That's like Bryce Hall. Wow. Okay, yeah. I don't see I, – I mean – I'm sure he's a great guy. I just don't really. Uh, he's not a great guy. He just yeah. like he just <laughs> like beat somebody up at an L.A. restaurant because they told him there was no more vaping. And he, next thing you know, there's videos of him like putting somebody in a fucking full Nelson in the, at a restaurant. Oh, OK. Well, that's fucked up. I mean, I, I don't want to get in TikTok drama, but like, yeah, no, definitely uh, not my not my cup of tea. Right. He, he it's okay. almost like he resembles like Sid, the kid from Ice Age. That's me. Oh way. my god, Some this guy is so hot. Holy <laughs> shit. I, I don't want to say anything, but that top right has Huddy vibes. I knew you were going to fucking say that. I knew that was coming <laughs> out of your mouth. Does. I was waiting for that shit. Josh, I was waiting for it. Josh, you have right, a very last one no, coming up next. Josh has a very attractive face. Uh Last one. What do you think of this guy? Let's go. <laughs> Okay. Why, I just want to let Dave, everyone watching. Why did you bring me on this podcast? No, Dave did because this shit. I didn't even know this was happening. I had no idea this was happening. Everyone's going to think, think of this guy? I'm the one that's obsessed. Just letting you guys know. This is so fucked. Why did I come on this show? Wait, this is great. You, people Duh. are going to eat it up. Okay, this opinion. kid, I've seen him dance. He makes me uncomfortable. The other kid, Bryce Hall, looks like he looks like Sid, the kid from Ice Age. The other kid that's in Travis All Barker's Instagram is, I could see being like kind of a guy that's like maybe like silently kind of hot in a weird way. Go back to the next one. 
this kid needs to get it together get the fuck out of that bleach stage you really (laughs) need to just cut it the fuck out and then noah beck i just can't because of the information i'm hearing about him and his girlfriend no no you have information on blake gray no and this this noah kid you have but what Well, I just don't like when people fake relationships for the internet. That pisses me the fuck off. I think that... Hold on. Okay, no. I don't think Jaden... Noah's Noah's not faking a relationship, Let's put Josh first. Well, just because he's on the show. Yeah. Let's go. I don't even care if it's because I'm on the show. (laughs) Let's go. So is that your rankings right there? Um... I... I guess we could... Uh... No, uh... I, I guess I hate this. <laughs> well, I mean, it's important. Is it important? It is, important. is it important? No, well, it's super, probably gonna no, be the no, clip. No, 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 yeah. Like Alex Cooper from Call Her Daddy ranks the sway house. Ranks the sway boys. Oh fuck! This is gonna be okay. probably the biggest clip. Yeah, it's super important actually. <laughs> okay, fuck. Um, maybe move Griffin before this Jaden kid. So now you know what's gonna wow. happen. He's gonna slide back into D- DMs with a double yo. Now Griff's gonna hit him with a double, like a yo-yo. You know what I'm saying? Well, he has it's nice. He has two. nice eyes. Yeah, that looks about right. right. Cheers. There it is. Sway boy, sway house ranked by Alex Cooper. We were talking about it before because I, the barstool, myself. That's how I talk to my friends. Like we don't say nice shit to each other. Everything's kind of just busting no. balls. And in the sway house, that's why when the Alex stuff broke, I was surprised. Like, it, it, Griffin, t- I'm glad he came on, but he was almost, mm-hmm. no offense, the last one of the group because I knew he wasn't bothered by it. Like, the guys, it's like, all right, right. I've met Bryce. I think he's a nice dude. He did not strike me as somebody who was going to be mad about that and really get upset right. for no, Sid. No, no, no. Noah Beck bro. was quiet. Yeah. And Noah Beck mm-hmm. and, and your ex-girlfriend, which is a whole new thing we got to touch a little bit, she did the, like, <laughs> in bed uh, with Noah thing, being like, oh, we're not was real? unreal, by What's the way. What's that? That was an unreal response. Awesome. Like, best response you could have had. Dude, yeah. That was crazy. Not going to so, lie. So, all right. Toasty. Did that relationship, and I said this when I met you the first time, Griffin, when it was explained to me, like, oh, you used to date, um, not Charlie, Dixie, and now Noah does, and you guys are standing next to each other. I'm like, that's fucking weird. And both of you guys are like, no, it's not. That gives what Alex said to me, truthfully, it would be like, oh, that can't be real. Like, I don't want one of my good friends dating my ex-girlfriend, but you say you have no problem with it. Well, like, you know the show Friends? Yeah, and they all date each other. Yeah, well, I mean, whenever it first happened, uh, we definitely had, like, a weird tension, and, like, I was pissed. Um, not really like for the fact that it was like, I was pissed about the situation as much as like, he didn't tell me, like, it was like, I knew and I was waiting for him to say something, but he never did. Um, we kind of talked about that. It was, it was, dude, it was definitely like, there was some tension in the house. It was a little, it was messed up, bro. Like, yeah, it was. So now is he just not a guy? Like, again, I don't know you guys well enough. My vibe actually watching Dixie is like I I would expect her to come on this podcast and sling it like that response is like okay yeah let's have fun with it Noah seems like somebody who wouldn't like he was super quiet when I was out there am I right about that yeah no yeah. Noah's definitely more of like a shy introvert type of kid like he he's really more about like peace and happiness he's never gonna fight back like even when all the boys are roasting each other back and forth or shitting on each other he kind of is like more of the quiet one or he does he just doesn't get into that stuff that's just not how he is but I. I mean, I love him. That's just not how he is. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, Dixie's a lot more outspoken. She also is not afraid to roast someone. Yeah. Trust me, I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we put them up. And put, like, put, her, put them up her right fan base. I mean, you knew these were coming, right, when we had you on? Dude. What, what, what do you think it's he about? He has to, be, to know what it's about. Probably not screenshots that. or we some shit. Got, Maybe yeah, it's missing again. Huh. This is, Dude, so she, she posted... She, so what, what sh- you guys broke up because you're sliding everyone's DMs, right? See, the thing is with this is some of these were real. Some of them weren't. That's the problem. Like, like it was like 50-50 almost. So, but she um, posted them all, right? Yeah, dude. She posted them. So, all right, let's them. go through what's real and what's not. We got, can you <laughs> oh, see God. the screen? <laughs> this is the game. Hey, Dave, this week Send- is... Real or not on Griffin's yeah, real Sin or not. is definitely but real. To me, I would vote all real because why would she post fake fake ones? So listen to me, though. This is the only thing that's a little weird is, is like, and it's messed up. 
this girl is from her hometown. Like, so it's almost kind of like, it was like, uh, like a weird plan thing. It wasn't like, I obviously f- like fucked up, um, by Snapchatting yeah. a girl, like for sure. But like, it was a little curated. I'm not going to So lie. wait, curated. It, and again, I'm, so you Snapchatted somebody from Dixie's hometown. Yeah. Like I didn't know. Like, you didn't even do the research, eh? Well, no I, background, no like, oh, same town, it wasn't same that, school. It wasn't that deep to me. It wasn't like she lived in LA and I was like trying to like meet up with her and stuff. It was like, it was like a weird thing because me and Dixie had broken up for like, there was like a four or five day period. We were, we like, we had broken up and I'm not going to lie, dude. I was just kind of sad. Yeah. Like oh, I was just person. like, you know, let's, let's be honest. If up? you're sliding into one girl's DMs, you're sliding into way more. I mean. Like seven thousand. It wasn't me. Got to rifle them off. Like it wasn't me sliding in. It was like me answering DMs because I knew it was girls that wanted to talk to. Me. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, like, I'm not and, and everyone does that. It's, it's like that. That's the yeah. world. And I've had that exact statement. Obviously, not for you, but being like, well, yeah, I'm, it's nothing. Like if someone slides in DM and I'm just sitting there bored and I reply, that doesn't count. I don't have a relationship. So let's go through these. Just wifey. So who posted <laughs> these? Like, like she did. These were all the girl was was sending them to her. Got it. So like Dixie's the only one. That so had what these. you're saying is the girl then some of them that she sent to Dixie were fake. The the Snapchat itself, like some of them were like pictures because I send a lot of like pictures just my face and people will be like, why don't you ever talk? Um, so a few of them, like it wasn't like all of them, but like there was definitely a few of them that were at, okay. Like, so just wifey shit out of it. Real? Was that real or not? That's real. Okay. Nice. One for but one. But like, here. that's not like, uh, that, that, that sounds like I'm trying to like wife this girl. Like, that's just shit that I say. Like, just wifey shit. Like, if a girl does something, it's like, damn, that's hard. Yeah, okay. Just like, I shit. like girls who can skateboard. It intimidates me. I'd be like, oh, that's wifey shit. Um, <laughs> I love I like, bad bitches. I love They're bad bitches. They're hard, bitches. To, find. They're hard to find. I hate pussies. That's real. Okay. I would definitely say that. Like, I don't remember saying those words exactly, but that's. Dude, that's definitely. such a. Like, where did that come up in your conversation? I love bad. What what were the words again, Dave? Go back to that shit. I love bad bitches. They're hard to find. I hate pussies. Actually, I don't even know. I I might have sent that. Like, that's definitely something I feel like I would say. So I'm not going to say it's not true. Dude, why did she blur out her text, though? We need to know what the girl said. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, this girl is taking it out of context, bro. I swear. You were set up. If you're saying it's the same thing and she's sending it, you were set up. She was probably being like, I don't care that you fucking talk to Dixie. I'll fuck you. I mean, and then you're like playing right along. I love bad bitches. I mean, come on. I can figure that out. They're hard to find. Um, Dude. (laughs) <laughs> but but that's part of the game. Right. I mean, I've been with plenty of athletes who have like fake accounts just because they don't want to get, you know, blown up with this. I'm about to act up if you don't chill. I don't know what that means. That's a that's a little weird. Um I don't remember <laughs> on that one. I'm not going to lie. That is a little weird. Like uh like I I think this one was actually like a picture that, of dude, just that's my like face. what you say to someone after they send you like a, a hot photo or like yeah like like a, i don't remember but i don't think i think that was a picture from my story actually because i remember it's, it's been like what four months so now? you're saying that's a fake text on that one yeah i don't know for sure but like that one is like definitely i, I, I i'm gonna be honest it, these, these all have to be real because none of them stick out like wildly and like why would she she already has you dead to right so why would she start making shit up we also some of these are a little bit weird, like the apology ones. That's Sintos. the ones. Sintos, I definitely sent that one. That's like, <laughs> that's like a funny joke for me, and like it's it's been ongoing, but it just went crazy, dude. Like, obviously, if there's like, if I could get a picture of an ass or a picture of a toe, like, come on. ass, like, yeah. Let's be honest. And then the apology yeah, one went too. So where are you? Like, when? What was the time frame of this? When did this all go down? Actually, th- those were just a couple screenshots. There's like way more. Like there's like a whole like deck of them, and like a bunch of the other ones. Those are like the actual like believable ones. The other ones were just like stupid shit. Like and w- that didn't even make. When sense. When did it go down? Like uh, when were you dating? Uh, this was like, um, like when did we break yeah. up? It was like July, July, the end of July. And then how fast after yeah. was she dating Noah? Um, publicly or behind the scenes? Behind the scenes. Um, probably like a month later. And what is the theory? And again, I could be wrong on this. Well, the vibe I got like in the house is that Noah Noah is right now like he's the hottest guy. And I don't mean like, oh, my God, looking like he's blowing up like he he's as you would say, the hype guy. Is that true? 
Hundred percent. No, it's yeah. killing. So, is there an element? Like, is that why just, Alex is like fake? Because, like, okay, that that could be it too. Because like Noah came in here, be, became like this blow up on social media, had like the hype, like almost Charlie did when she first started blowing up, and then you go and look who he's dating. It's like the biggest social media girl too, who's also the girl that had the hype, the Demelia. So I get how she could say that. It's not fucking true. Like they're dating. Right. They're with each other all the time. We be, like. We want to hang out with Noah more. We're like, Noah, come to the fucking house, dude. Stop hanging out with Dixie all right. the time. Like, we know that shit's real. But, yeah, dude. it's... I get how she could totally think it's fake. Yeah, I mean, I dude, I respect... Uh, I respect Dixie. She she toasted me in that situation. Not gonna lie, I could have handled it, like, way better. Just as, like, defending myself even. Got toasted, roasted, boom. Um, and I'm like, I'm happy for him now. I'm over it. Uh, I just wish that, like, I've been... All my social media is still like cheater, 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 cheater. It's like if the actual real story, there was like a bunch of weird shit going on that never got out. Well, all right, um, well, and like, we need I'll, clips for the show to like get it going. <laughs> to like weird yeah, you do know, like we Dude, need like the vi viral clips, right? I mean, like you let's, see on TikTok, like you know those yeah. ones. We need some of those. So. Like I'm gonna be honest, I respect Dixie. Like if she ever needed anything, I would be the first one there. Same for Noah. Um, I'm happy for them now. But, like, I'm just going to be straight up. There was a lot of weird shit going on, like, between yeah. them the entire time. Let's just Between be those like, two. So whole, you, so what you're saying yeah. is you're getting labeled, like, the cheater and the sliding in. But you yeah. th they, you we were, sensed that they had something going on while you were still doing it. You're like, fuck this. I'm going to go do my own thing. Yeah. And I'm not saying this because I'm mad or I'm trying to throw them under the bus. Like, it's been months now. Like, this shit's over with. Like, I don't care. And neither do they. Like, they moved on or whatever. But since you asked me, like... It was weird, dude. They had this best friends group, and they were going on trips to, Mal like, whatever, Malibu or whatever they would do at night. It was, like, weird stuff. Like, I thought about it, and it was, like, this is weird. But, like, I wasn't, I didn't, like, I'm not a weird, like, a weird boyfriend. I'm not going to be, like, no, you can't go to, like, I'm, you know I'm gonna give you, It's, like, weird. And this is the old guy coming in, Dave, here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you very, very honest advice. If you're dating a girl... And she's going on BFF trips to Malibu at night. Your girl's fucking somebody else. Like that's just, <laughs> dude. Yo, that's fact. Unless, like unless Noah isn't straight, which he clearly is, because they're dating. They were fucking. I mean, you don't go. <laughs> you don't do that, <laughs> dude. I don't know about that. Do you, do you see what you made Dave do? Like, you brought this up. Now Dave's going to capitalize on it. He's going to say people were fucking. Now we're going to be a clip on Josh, TikTok room. Did you just hear like, what you he know said? It's coming. Did you know that was going on? Was anyone, like, elbowing you? Be like, what's up with this, like, nah, dude. date under the fucking moonlight to Malibu? Like, they're both good <laughs> people. That's, that's yeah. a no-go. That's a no-go. Yeah. It's definitely been bad, though, like, been weird. Like, there's still no no friendship there at all. Like, not even a little bit. With, with um, Dixie. Parsh. Yeah, but partially it's because I uh, made a fucking diss track. On yeah, what? Well, all right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what's the What's the deal with yeah, diss track? Well, dude, do we have the diss because, track? Because, dude, I, I haven't heard the diss track, so I'm going to hear it right now. Oh, By the way, I've my made a diss God. track before. <laughs> Not about a girl, but let's you have this diss track. You have? I thought it got taken down. No, no, no. It's almost as good as my Justin Bieber single that I did. Nah. It's dude. almost as good as that. This dude, I couldn't, I couldn't speak without getting destroyed, bro. Like, I just kept getting destroyed on the internet. Yo, I can't. Uh -oh. Convenient. Are you serious, dude? You're really about to do this? <laughs> I'm not here to say I'm sorry. I'm not even gonna ask. The lyric the video is why I just said it. You post bro. this. I, you back, I don't know. She said oh, fuck no. This is fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Dude, dude. You no, you gotta wait, dude. dude. You gotta wait for one night. Oh, yeah. She took it out of this context. way. No, my heart's in the comments. Uh, you can say, you can say I'm heartless. But you don't know, what, you don't know what a heart is. You don't think I know. Think I know. Uh, dude, that's just so funny. That's dude, not, what is that line? Not, you don't think I know? Uh, dude, that's like you Noah Beck. Do you get that shit? You text me even dude, the Noah one. I like, this like, is. All right. Like all right. Know <laughs> I get the point. I, I, you know what? You know who I'm mad at? I'm mad at you, Josh. <laughs> You're mad at You're, me. You guys are friends? For letting me post it, bro. Yeah, me and Griff are friends. Did you see this before he released it? <sighs> I didn't tell anyone, really. I don't think he really... Yeah, he kind of just came out with Dude. it. What's going on in you your brain? You want me brain? to be honest? 
Bro, nothing. I'm telling you. <laughs> that that whenever, it has to be. I just watched fucking nothing on the screen dude, for 45 seconds. Whenever I did that, you got to put this into context, Dave, eh, right? I had millions of people telling me to, like, kill myself, like, whatever. Like, I know I can act hard. It's like, yeah, dude, I'm a sway boy. Like, it doesn't affect me. But, like, everything I put up, my DMs, everything, it was just hate. Like, thousands. Like, I was getting, like, 100,000 comments per video on TikTok of just hate. Like, Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, he had never gotten that many comments in his life. Dude. Comments, dude, comment. I didn't even. Fans don't boo nobody. Yeah, no, I like, know. Nobody wants that. I still it, don't know how you go from. It was in my head, bro. To putting out what may be the worst thing I've ever seen in my life right there. That, <laughs> who, dude. Who, who knew about I just, Somebody had to make it. Somebody, you either, she either like sabotaged you and had you know, her people working with you. Being like, tell them it's good. Tell them it's good. Tell them it's good. Like, who fucking let you put that out? <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. You know, 303. What's 303? No, like like black dress with the tights underneath. Okay. You know, still the, don't know, know but okay, whatever. That's that's who I made it with. So I thought it was cool. Didn't end it up. I mean, you did it in what four hours? Yeah, no, no the whole song was like in four hours. Not gonna lie, it was more like um, it was in my head. It was like I know that. I messed like like all of this up already. Like the whole situation, I I played it all wrong, and I thought you I was did. being smart, but like I was <laughs> like maneuvering off my emotions, dude. And I just made myself look like a clown, dude. I got destroyed when did, for when about did two know, and a half months. Like, he was the most oh, hated. Fuck, man. this is the lamest thing that's ever been put out on the internet. Um, probably like the next morning when I woke up. Right. But I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I will say this: the song is catchy, dude. Well, if you actually understand it. It's you pretty catchy. First of all, your auto I, I will give you, it that. It, you, if you're doing a diss track, you have to go fucking play mine. So I got in a, this is kind of like a fake one, but we got in a fight like with a blogger, right? It's a long story. Uh huh. I, so I made one and I can't rap, I can't sing, but yours sounds like it should be on like American Idol or like some soft. Or like Kids Pop. You need a, well, shit. So you think it's good. You need a beat. American like, Idol here's shit. The beat. All right. This is you? And my lyrics were like, no joke. Oompa, oompa, doopa dee dee. If you are wise, you'll listen to me. Fuck Kevin Clancy, you should've left it alone. Now I will remind you who's on the Iron Throne. See, I'm Jordan, you're pippin', you're trippin', bro. This is my fucking business, you're living off. I'm the frickin' boss, crushing summers on the beach. The when I met you, you anger? were crunching numbers like a geek. Yeah, you see the emotion behind that grip <laughs> you skinny fat fuck you like wow. it. that's my favorite one that's... all right we can cut that see the difference in the <laughs> you said go he just heartbeat. said you skinny fat fuck <laughs> you skinny fat fuck <laughs> what's that even mean how can you be skinny and cuz he's like skinny but his body makes you like throw up he's like another blog I, no I know exactly what you mean i know exactly uh, what it's yeah. like a bag of milk type. It's like gross. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> like Canadian milk. It comes in bags. That's just like all like the top. It gets Bro, like a little smaller and you know bigger at the good. bottom. You I know what's you. crazy though? This this podcast is so like watered down from what like it would like if you were to talk normal. Like actually like, you know, just chilling with the boys, like whatever. And it's crazy to me how things just keep getting softer and softer and softer. You think this shit's soft? Did you not no. see the song? You Wait, you think here? this podcast no. is soft? No, I think it's watered down compared to like if you were actually sitting like, and this is like pretty out there compared to most shit. Like this is like on. Definitely, I think we call. It I, I can't be more. I'm stunned. He said that. It's like I I can't like, be more saying exactly how I dude, feel. Dude, you you kind of <laughs> you kind of have to watch what you say though. In in a way. Well, maybe like, you I'm are. Not talking I'm not. To, me neither. You I'm say whatever spit. you want. What, what, what haven't you said huh. that you want to say? Uh, I can't think of the top. Of Dude, never mind. All right, whatever. Griff's, Griff's you know scared. I don't, no, no, he's no. scared. I don't want to hurt, I don't want to hurt any, any No, I want here, it. Man. I want egos hurt. Like, say what you're going to say. You're the, I, I'm saying so whatever So you're telling say. me you would say anything that you would say in, in an open yes. room. Like, That's been like the number one complaint people have of me. It's like he just <laughs> fucking says whatever he's thinking. I would say anything. No, but it's what people love too. It's what people yeah. love because on my on my um, TikTok, they started saying like, "I love that Josh is collabing with Dave because he's one of the only people on the internet that's left 
with like the full authenticity preaching the truth like he doesn't give a right. fuck and like i like people appreciate now granted that. Regardless, if you're in a situation where you're actually friends with somebody i'm not going to say something that i think like will truly make them feel bad but for the most part everyone knows how yeah. i feel about everything like i'm telling you if i thought noah fucked my girlfriend i would be like i don't like you dude you fucked my girlfriend when i was dating her <laughs> i don't i don't know if i don't think that happened no, i'm not gonna it lie didn't. Well, but it was I, like, I, dude, here's, here's say what I'll did, say. But we have this, no is, proof. this is this is for your views. <laughs> this is for your views. I don't think anything happened. I just think that the full story, like it was all pinned on me and it still is and has been like people say get over it. And it's been four months. But like, that's still all I get. Paparazzi comes up to me. That's what they ask me. You know, I get on a podcast. That's what they ask me. Like, I can't get away from it. So I might as well. I've been scared to face it. Not going to lie. Sound like a bitch. But, like, dude, I, I can't win against the D'Amelios. Are you kidding me? No. What, right. Like, they can take out the whole Sway house. Like, whoa. <laughs> no, it's true. <laughs> All right. Takis. Takis, Takis. Face Ooh, the intensity. New the new Fuego crisps are deliciously crispy, perfectly stackable, and perfect for snacking on the move. With two canister sizes, you can just pop the lid and unleash a flavor so wild that it'll have you begging for more. I have Takis all in my Miami house ready to go. When the guests come over for BFFs, that's all they eat. They love them. Um, so Takis, yeah. Those are a new product too. They, they yeah, look at the, the green. Every, yeah. every size. Three different flavors too. Seriously. Yeah, these are the best snacks. Habanero Fury, Fuego. Typhoon. All of them. Can you face the intensity? Try and find out Takis, the official chip of BFFs. The TikTok Room Awards. This, did you like watch this? How did you like how do you find out the winners and all that shit? It's just like I looked at it and I was kind of like, ah, I just didn't want to promote it at all. So, at all. So that, like, well, it, we're gonna promote the fuck out of it right now. Because <laughs> we have So here's the promotion. We Shout have all TikTok. basically the stuff. And I haven't seen these people, um, but we get the best style nominees. We're just gonna go through them and do reactions. So I don't know all who right. a lot of these people are, and then we'll yep. give the winner. So best style nominees. Um I, I don't even think I saw half the winners. Like I didn't even really look at this. Is so. that a real name? Wisdom? Wisdom K. So do we have the picture of these people? Oh, yo, he, he's actually kind of fly. Like, his dressing sometimes kind of fly. Yeah, all right. Like, I like the looks of this guy, with the exception of pick number two. He looks like an idiot. But the rest of it, I kind of like it. I actually, I, I, liked, I like that the middle one with the varsity jacket, too. That's yep. a fit. That and I like an the orange pants. Like, if we were doing a fit. pizza scale, I'd be like, this kid's like an 8'4 on, like, style. With the exception, right. I don't know what the hell... What the hell's going on on the second to left for me? You mean the it's like the red hoodie crop top yeah. little thing going on? Ah, like, this yeah. guy. We know how I feel about this guy. He come on now. That picture <sighs> second or right. And again, I don't know him. I'd love to have him on this podcast, but he looks like right. he's in fucking boogie nights in the left. The I don't mind the 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 fucking I like, dinosaur. I like the uh, yeah. I like the dinosaur. That's what I was about to say. That that hoodie's kind of fly. I'm, I'm gonna give it to him. For the sure. one, the one. What is that? Is that a Prada? What bag is that? Is that no? Uh, that's a Versace. Versace. That's what Versace. It is, right? Yeah. Well, like, what do you think, yeah. Brown? From a girl perspective, there's no way anybody's attracted to this garbage. I've been saying Dude. it. I don't get. I don't get how he won this too. I don't get how he won this category. They love him. The he, people love him. They, nah, he, it's it's a him. niche. It's definitely a niche, and I, it it blew up. So people love it. He's straight, right? Not that there's. I could care less, but I mean that that. No straight guy can pull that Versace look off, I don't think. He didn't. I mean. I want I want to become friends with this guy. Like, we're, <laughs> I, I, you know, we're, we're trash so much. Does he have a sense of humor? I know you two had a little do to do, but does he have a sense of humor? Uh, Yeah, kind of. Ah. I feel like when I used to be friends with him, he, he's like, he was a little bit of like a uh, emotional kind of guy. Like, uh, I mean, like, that's, that's literally what he, he was also an e-boy. Like, nothing against him at all for that. But. He joked around an e -boy a little bit, being so maybe like an emo. An e-boy being an emo. I don't think like that's an e-boy. It's just what he blew up on the app. Like he would call himself an e-boy, and he was an e-boy. So I think it's like it's like his style. Look at how dark. Like it's dark dressing. It's like kind of goth. It's 
Yeah. Is that, like, Brianna, yeah. like, what is your definition of an e-boy? E-boy, right picture. That's what it, they paint yeah, their nails yeah, black exactly. with a bunch of chains. That's what it is. Goth. Goth, yeah. And like dark They just changed eyes. the word goth to, to e-boy. E- e-boy. And then it's like a category, yep. but like you're not even goth. You just dress like it. And girls love it. Girls it's love like, it? Girls it's love it's it. a mix between like goth and skater boy. Yeah. It's the that's new like skater what boy. Is. That's not a skater boy. That kid was he choke on his chains if he looks like a <laughs> <skater>. <laughs> Listen, that's I don't like mind the second to left. Absolutely eats it. <sighs> but he won, can, dude. We got it. We got to give him something. He won the challenge. He won the whole thing. Yeah, apparently. because like, girls, I don't know who, where they're from. Little, they're gonna be in my mentions, being like, "You came after little Huddy. I'm gonna fucking slice your tongue off." Oh no, yeah, they're they're even just about this, like you saying that boogeyman or the boogie co- uh, comment about his red fit right there. Like they're gonna be like, "You can never pull off something like that. You wish you could look that good." I could pull they're, that off on the left. I can't pull anything else off I really think. all right i want to i want to see it next week if you're not wearing that for the podcast then I'm if we get the leather i will i should have put in my fucking i should put myself in here with the gucci fucking suit oh by the way <laughs> that tiktok by the way i don't know if you know what i'm talking about josh but there was like a flamboyantly like gay guy who made a video and he's like i don't know why all these girls are romancing dave portnoy like what's dave portnoy got to do with anything and then he puts up like my net worth and he's like now i get it i fuck bumped into him in the street yesterday walking no way yeah and i was with this girl from the bachelor who's stunning looking and he's like oh right. of course so it is actually good fucking timing i was super perfect nice. like, timing. We're like bffs now um oh that's great anthony reeves this is uh i live with him i live with anthony he's the homie <laughs> yeah, do you do yeah i do he dresses like garbage what's going on whoa he has, he has a style, too. It's like Scooby-Doo Shaggy style, you know? Yeah, I guess on the right, he looks like Shaggy. You live with this yep. dude? Dude, he just moved into my house. We used to live with each other, and then he lived in my old house that I used to have. And now he moved out of there and came and joined me and Jaden and the boys at the house. So he's that. Sway House. Yeah. He looks like fucking Cobra Kai in the, se- in the middle oh, wait, one. He kind of does look like Cobra Kai. Big time. Gosh. Big time. Big time looks like he could be like doing some karate in the 80s. <laughs> All right. I didn't know this guy was swaying. He's getting his face choked there on the left. Is that his girlfriend? Yeah, that's his girlfriend. I don't hate that poach. He's getting fucking roughed. <laughs> All right. Vinny, Vinny Hacker. Hey, this guy lives in my old house right now. <laughs> you guys are all intertwined. All right. This yep. is a skater boy. Oh, yeah. See, this is more skater boy where Chase is more like... Just to give you like context, so you kind of are getting these weird or vibes or styles that there's like a fifty fucking names for, and then Chase is more like the e boy side. So yeah, he's more skater Vinny, but All they're right. both like I think called e boys. I don't even know, dude. I'm lost. Would you I'm say this TikTok. guy's an e boy, Brianna? No, a skater boy. Yeah, and skater this boy. guy, I could feel like if he's on point break, like running down the beach, and there's a football sitting there, I'll pick it up and spin it fifty yards. Chase yeah. looks like you threw it to him. He's gonna take out his. Front two teeth. I, I like I like this guy's style more. All right. Yeah, this guy this guy's some cool style. Shout out Vinny. Quentin Griggs also lives with me. Love Quinn. How many fucking people live with you, <laughs> dude? It's just the people that are in this challenge. Like literally, all of the funny thing is, Davis. I come on the show right. And people look at me and they're like, Josh, you shit on people's style or like you make fun of them. You're a dick. You could never wear that. Like you don't have any style. I hope everyone knows the reason I do this and I get this, I get to vent that shit out is because when I'm home, I'm the one kid that dresses like a normal high school kid. So they're like, Josh, you dress so fucking plain, like nice black jacket. <laughs> like, dude, I'm not wearing spikes on my shoes, man. Like, I don't need metal like sticks coming out of my shoes. I'm going to like trip. The, yeah. I don't need that. Those are fucking girl pants, what he's wearing on second. And I, listen, I'm a skinny jean guy, but. And I actually don't hate the look, but you have to... I mean, you've been wearing some jeans that are pretty tight. I, I wear fucking tight jeans because I'm not overly tall, but I, they don't have rips like that. I'd wear them that tight if they were all the way like up. That's... He's... And by the way, I, this kid looks... Like if I saw him, I'd be like, oh, he's famous. Like the way he... Dra- I actually don't hate right. it. He just looks no, famous. Yeah. This kid's a football kid too. How big is he? He's, he's just like stocky. Like, he's not very tall, but he's, like, built. That was actually my number one thing, if you remember, when we first met. I'm like, I don't know if this is going to work, because we were sitting there on a Saturday afternoon, and you guys have this gigantic full-screen TV, and it's, like, (laughs) 
college football, and it was just off. And I was like, why isn't there football uh, on right now? And you're yeah. like, oh, we're doing protein shakes, dude. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Alex Guzman. Yeah, I know Pretty this normal. guy. Um, I know him. He, he's a homie for sure. But he has that, like, I don't even know what you would call it, Sal. It's cool, though. Is he, like, two feet tall? <laughs> he's pretty short, yeah. I think he's like, I don't even know, maybe like five eight. Oh, that's not that. I mean, I'm only five ten. He looks maybe young, maybe just hasn't fully grown yet. No, he's. A, I think he's a year older than me. Yikes. Okay. Uh, Jaden <laughs> Hostler. I know this is one of your guys. Yep, lives with me as well. Shout out, Jaden. Jaden's definitely like he really is in that punk rock, like with Travis Barker, full blown. We got to get him on the pod. I've heard mixed things, though, that he's just going to be vanilla ice cream if we get on here. He he what? He'd be He'd like be vanilla, vanilla ice cream. He's just going to, like, not say anything that's going to, you know, get us the headlines. We need to take this uh, thing to the moon. Yeah. I don't know. Jaden's not too much of a shit disturber. Like, right. He doesn't really stir it up, you right. know? Um, I mean, just depends on his mood, though. Sometimes he really gets into it and just <sighs> goes off. I don't know what's going on. This guy has one name. Baron? <laughs> <laughs> it's his first and last no i know he's he's crazy at dancing like i don't get it he's doing that pop lock like no other but guy's kind of like classy his name is baron that's it, that's it. i guess but what <laughs> he's got and that wasn't his birth <laughs> name he didn't come out and they're like yo you're baron that's kind of fucking fire <laughs> if you can pull that off though and just be like yo i'm going by no, one name yeah yeah, no, I think he did. I think he pulled it off. Look how he dresses, man. He like who he has the confidence. Look at all the photos. Look at it. Look at his. Look at that confidence in the second left photo. The second only is, a man with one name. Do you know the movie Cruel Intentions? No, he's straight out of Cruel Intentions. Ryan Felipe. Do you know Cruel Intentions, Brianna? No. This is where we get in that <laughs> fucking age thing. Cruel Intentions, <laughs> all time like coming of age movie, like sex. Ryan Felipe, like everybody probably thirty to forty. Knows it. Out in like he looks like he's in it. Like rich it? boy hitting on like the girls. I'm curious, Brian. I hope you're keeping score because I'm going to ask you your winner when this thing's done with okay, all this. I have my winner. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Noah Miller. He roasts the fuck out of us. He does? You don't? <laughs> Big time. <laughs> no, I don't care. I like it. I think it's funny. Like, here's the thing. People don't realize like some of the sway boys do get a little hurt. We've seen that. But... Like, for me, I'm dissing jokes left and right. Like, I come on this podcast and we're making fun of Like, I can't not be able to take a joke. You know what I mean? Part of the deal. Same. It's like, 100%. that's what, when people get mad there, it's like, dude, we, I get roasted worse than fucking everybody. It's like a 40-year-old <laughs> man talking about Noah Mill. I, uh, the one thing I'll say, there's no, I don't know what that, po- have you, I'm sure you've done. I'm not, and we did the quick photo shoot. Like, I fucking don't do photo shoots, even if no. I have to. It's like, just take it candid. Like, you have to feel fucking ridiculous what he's doing on the right there. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I've done one photo shoot that was like a photo shoot, photo shoot in my whole life, really. And that was the one that you said gave you, remember the Chase Hudson vibes? Remember <laughs> you said that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that photo um, was the only time I've ever really had to go into, like, photo shoot m- mode. And it's just, like, it is kind of weird. We may have to but, try to get Noah Miller on to just, like, hey, here's the Sway House. Fucking go at each one as go, hard go as after. you can. Yeah. He would destroy Or just it. literally, here is the TikTok roster. Just, go for it. Yeah, just, just fucking hammer him, and I'll fucking oh, yeah. come over the top. I'll be the ninja <laughs> coming over the wall. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Troy Zarba, pretty normal-looking dude. Yeah, skater, like typical, kind of like same style as Vinny, I would say. Exactly yeah, I may shirt. even have the same pants, to be honest. Those like the, camo I actually, jeans. Actually, I think, wait a sec, those jeans that he's wearing in the second left, I think they both wore those in the photos you guys picked out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%. Like 100% that's just, tough. Yeah. That's good for whatever brand that is, but it's not good if you're like top four pictures, you got the same ones. Are you familiar with this? And, and this is going to get a little weird. And I don't know what yeah. the plan is here. So Jay Alvarez has this sex tape. Do you know who he is, Josh? The travel guy. Yeah, he used to date, I guess, Alexis Wren. Mm-hmm. And Alexis Wren's like, she's just a monster on Instagram. She has been for a while. I think she still is, and she's still, like, pretty yeah. relevant. Gorgeous girl. They used to date, right, and mm-hmm. make, like, right. videos. Um, I think he sort of slipped out of relevance, a little bit. Yeah. But he's a yeah. very good-looking guy by all accounts. 
and he had a sex tape come out that's kind of going viral. I haven't seen it. Like, what's the plan? Are we planning on watching this? Right, because like, I, I, I saw I saw the link, Dave. I saw a link, and it says link to the video on, on the notepad. So for someone like me, like I haven't watched it, right? Like that concerned me because I was like, are we just about to watch this naked dude for five, ten minutes on BFFs this morning? Is that what I'm getting ready for at 830 in the morning? <laughs> it's only a minute. It's okay, a it's minute? only one minute, minute of naked dude. So should we watch it? You need it? to watch it because you need to see how it's produced. It's produced like one of his travel vlogs. It's, it's kind of, it's weird. Okay. All right, fucking let's watch some porn. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, some BFS watching porn. Let's do it. <laughs> this can't be good for TikTok. Nope. It is. I see it everywhere. Uh, oh. oh. Michael Jackson, I'm a pain in your rectum. I am that bitch y'all slept on. Heavy hit around, spit up for me, rerun. That's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. All right. So what's the, now, he released it? Yeah, it got, I'm pretty sure he leaked it or something like that. So it was leaked on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Girlfriend, ex-girlfriend Alexis Wren said that he had a small dick before. So... I'm thinking maybe he was like, no, I don't, and here we go. I mean, he clearly, first of all, that's an edited, that reminded me of, like, the Kim Kardashian, like, promo hype video. Yeah. Now, I am somebody who is familiar with having sex t- tapes leaked on the internet. I was about to say, you, you, you know, you have a step into this game a little bit. <laughs> Correct. I have had two that have been released <laughs> and, and are gone, and... I guess that's right. what we're saying here. Like when mine hit, it like was an emergency. It's like I'm on the phone with everybody, be like, "Get these the fuck off the internet!" Threatening now. to sue people, suing yeah. people. <laughs> so mine, mine were not. And then we actually had, um, I don't know, not too recently, like a celebrity. So we, the Dave Portnoy um, show, which is more like inside Barstool, we had a celeb, the celebrity sex tape guy who broke the Kardashian one in the Paris Hilton one is like the king of sex tapes. He also happened to be a Barstool fan. So he hit me up. He's like, just so you know, somebody just tried to sell me a sex tape of you. It was a new one. He actually showed it to me. I was like, oh, my God, another one. But what he said is true. In order for somebody to profit or buy it, I would have to like sign off on it. I'd have to be like, yeah. So you can't make money on anything I have because I would never agree to do it. That right. was clearly okay. leaked and clearly made – like, nobody makes a sex tape like that. Yeah, that's, like, some, like, high quality – you rented out a red camera, you know. Like, you actually – you put some work into this. Yeah, that was porn. Like, he – you don't make sex tapes where you're cutting back and forth, baking baby oil and pouring it on a girl. No. You make a sex tape that's leaked. It's like, hey, we're hooking like up. Like, you have your phone turn. and yeah. just, like – right. Put it on a corner of like a bed or something Correct. like that, and then like get back. You know? Right, and it's like your phone happens to be sitting there, like, oh, let's turn this on. Not that that they had producers. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of a wild move though to bake, bake oil, <laughs> to bake oil. <laughs> but uh, that you think would kind of that's ruin like the trending vibe. on TikTok now too. Everyone's talking about 
the uh, baby oil, not the the coconut oil. Like every yeah. girl wants it now. People are ordering it on Amazon. It's like trending on TikTok. Coconut oil? Yeah. Wouldn't that kind of ruin the mood? Like you're in the middle of something. It's like, let me take a quick like 20 here. Go bake some <laughs> coconut <laughs> oil. I'll be back like that. Yeah, uh, it, it's not going to be as like smooth as the YouTube video after all the editing. You know what I mean? Right. Because he was like, he like, was like already down there, like, you know, munching. And then he's just going to be like, yo, give me a sec. I'll be back. He's going to come back. She's going to like have put on a shirt and is watching Family Guy now. A hundred percent. If I go into the kitchen the too, I start snacking. Like I, if I'm yeah. like cooking and waiting for the water to boil, like I'm just going to start eating Cheez-Its and shit. Yeah, exactly. And then you get cheese it's on your fucking fingers and then you got to go wash that shit off. So it's just like you're never getting back to it. It's not happening. Yeah, there's 0.0% chance that works in real life. Like you said, edited yeah. like, I mean, you're a girl like or you're like, oh, I want coconut oil now. Uh, the video was edited. It was great. I mean, every girl I've talked to watched it at least 15 times. But girl, unrealistic, though. Totally unrealistic. Yeah. Great watch, right. unrealistic. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's just, again, Unless, girls should be practical, too. Be like, well, there's no way. You Just the fact you're going to boil water. Yeah, just like yeah, get I mean, lube like, if Unless you, you just that. have, like, coconut oil sitting ready to go, like 24-7 melted, just like on the stove on low or something. Yeah, Maybe because waiting pot. for water to boil is actually one of the more like frustrating things just in general. Like if you're cooking like corn effort. on the cob, you're like, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. If you're yeah, waiting, the real. girl's like naked and you're in the middle of it. It's just an impractical situation. But I mean, obviously girls like it. The guy's a fucking awesome looking dude. and He's like throwing his fucking dick around on a video. No shit. But it's, it's just yeah. fake life. Well, other girls have come forward on TikTok, too, that have hooked up with him. A girl, my friend, too, and said, like, Wait, the coconut what? oil is, yeah. He hooks up with a lot, of, like, everyone. Your friend? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She hooked Should up with him. had him on. Well, why didn't we have her on? <laughs> I know. Yeah, Should've. why wouldn't we have asked her? She was her on to, my like, podcast you know, yesterday. <laughs> zoom her right now. Can she's, you zoom she's her She's on in? a flight to LA. Uh, what, so, what, all right, what... Go ahead. I cut you off because you said that. But go ahead. Yeah, no, but there's lots of girls coming forward on TikTok that are like have a lot of followers and like it would be credible, have hooked up with him. And like the coconut oil is a reoccurring thing. It's in every sex experience with him. Can't live without it. All right. Maybe he's diving a little too deep on the coconut oil now. Yeah. You heard excessive. one time, one time one girl was like, this is fire. And then he's just been doing it since. I still don't know how you do it and make it work. And and if you're- How does he, how does he make it smooth? Right. right? Like- you 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 got to get up and go and t like you can't not go turn on the stove so that has to happen at some point so like but then also if he's doing it too early she's gonna be like why the fuck are you turning on the stove randomly like if they're just hanging out in the kitchen you just turn it on the stove throw some coconut oil in any girl's gonna be like what the fuck are you cooking right now like what are you doing and also it's like if girls are now wanting coconut oil as a guy, I don't think you can do that. Like, I don't want to do a move and be like, oh, you're pulling the Jay Alvarez? Like, no thanks. Yeah, because then it would be right. like you're pulling the Jay. It's his signature move. So you need something else, like hot rocks. I'm going to bring out <laughs> hot rocks every time I go to have sex with a girl now. Yeah, the Bagwell. Like, that's my move now. You can't do that. <laughs> All right, so we have a game. That Brianna, you set this up, right? Yeah, okay. So it's called, you, well, you explain it. Okay, this is for you, Trisha. It's called to cancel or not to cancel because, like <laughs> you said, everyone tries to cancel you all the time and you talk about your yeah. opinions on people very loudly. So we put together like a Google True. Doc of a bunch of uh, people that are kind of relevant right now that you may hate, okay. you may not, and we want your opinions, your take on them to cancel or not to cancel. Oh, um, I'm going to say uh, cancel. <laughs> Are we good? So, he called me fat and made fun of my skin while we were friends in Vegas this year and behind my back. So I'm going to say cancel him. Josh, how, how much do you know of this guy? I, I don't know a lot about him, but he's he, he seen. He's canceled. Wait, what what pronoun am I supposed to use? Am I supposed to use a certain pronoun? He's or? he. He's he. All right. Can, can't cancel. Well, his, Jeffrey I, is scary. Yeah, I, I like I that jacket. I don't. That jacket's fire. I, so here's another one. 
there's one girl who I used to hang out with who followed all these people. So I've seen a couple of his videos as shocking. He's the one who got like the new house and it was all pink, right? Yeah. He's he was yeah. very yeah. rich, but now he's getting like canceled and his makeup is like not selling anymore. The makeup line is what he right. made all the money yeah. on. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go with cancel. Why? You're gonna cancel Addison. Okay, I'll tell you why. I never had a problem with her. She rubbed me the wrong way on a podcast she did called Zane and Heath Podcast, where she said, and I quote, nobody has been as popular on me on social media. So there's nobody I can talk to because no one's been as famous as me. And I was like, girl, like what? And honestly, I didn't know her name. I recognized her face and it rubbed me the wrong way. She was very, very arrogant. And I didn't like that about an 18 year old who got, you know, a, a break on TikTok. I so, just thought that was, it was, it was. Those are exact cute. words though, or? Well, I'll just paraphrase. Well, but yeah, it was uh, so that that sort of is like what you got mad about, like Charlie and Dixie, when Charlie Demilio's, was yeah. being like, "I'm gonna have a hundred million, right?" But but that to me is like, who cares? That that I would oh. never cancel somebody. That almost sounds like somebody who's just sucking dick on street corners for five bucks doesn't like somebody who got fame like overnight. That's actually not true. I think there's a lot of humility in people. That's I don't like people that off the bat think that they're already so famous. Uh, there's no, I think. Uh, but I'm she doing is. just fine. I've done just fine. There's nothing like that. I don't like people that are like that. There's a, you can be humble and famous at the same time. You can be and be sweet about it. Be grateful because this is your first year in the stop, you know spotlight. It doesn't like last forever. I actually think in weird ways, like uh, uh some like Addison or you know, and I always pronounce her on the Demelos, the the fame that they got and the speed to which they got it could end up like being more of a bird it's like i can't ever imagine becoming that famous that, that quickly quick. overnight at that age too 16 years right old. yeah I, charlie is I agree. only 16 that's a fact yeah. i agree but here's the thing both of their parents you know are prom- promoting, you know, doing sponsorships on TikToks, like all the families trying to get on it. I just think instead of being on TikTok and trying to like leech off their fame, like, you know, try and support them and also take them off the internet when they need to. If Charlie was going through like that breakdown at 16, like, you know, give her a break from the internet. Like don't have her be on there all the time. I don't know. There was something I've seen people come and go, you know, the people that have the attitude it's like Tyler Oakley, you know, Superwoman, you know, all those people, they get these big attitudes and it's just not cute anymore. Like people don't like it. And I just think like they need to stop before it gets like, you know, too big of egos. Yeah. I don't know how you don't like, get an ego at that age. But, and, and as far as the parents, are, is the mic still working? Yeah, we're good. As far as the parents go, yeah. I don't know what you do because I know that DeMello's parents are in there a lot, but it's, you have this window where you can make generational money. You almost have to capitalize, don't you? No, that's gross. Right. But your your mom. It's, it is a lot of money, yeah. Oh my god, my mom like makes like my- a one video like a month, <laughs> maybe for over the past. She probably made twelve sister, videos in her whole life too. on YouTube. Like it's they don't have a TikTok where they're like, "Hey, get Charlie's ring light." I just saw them the dad doing that, and then also being like raising canes. We're gonna surprise Addison. Like their whole like thing is making money off them. I think it's gross. My mom had a job for a long time. I retired her. Like you know, sometimes I want her in my videos, but very rarely. It's just too much. And at that age, like be a parent. Don't try and like off that fame. You you know, it's, it's gross. If if I had a child and like, they were doing something pop, I wouldn't like be like, oh, me too. Let me get on on this. It's it's, it's a weird. It's weird. I don't like it. But you don't nec- – I don't know that the parents are trying to necessarily, like, themselves become famous. I think they're trying – well, without knowing, you don't know. I mean, somebody like – I just want to make sure we're, there's all sorts of, like – Weird sounds going on. We're good with the – okay. Um, the parents – we don't know what's going behind the scenes, but the amount of offers and stuff thrown at these people, you got to figure that, you know, most of it they're saying no to. So somebody's got to gatekeep it. Addison's mom has a podcast right. where they're called Mother Knows Best. And it's like, it's just like on the podcast itself, like it's like them talking about how like she chaperones Addison's dates and stuff like that. It's just like, it's just like a weird thing. There was a weird dynamic where Addison's mom was in bed with David Dobrik. And then Addison's like, mom, what are you doing? It was just like so weird and like just too much. It just, there's something about both of their families that are weird. They each have their own TikTok for their families. I don't, those are the only two that I think are like that. I can't think of any other TikTokers like that. Well, they're the most famous. I, I again, I, yeah. I almost would rather them involved at that age than less. Now, when bed the other things, I don't know. Okay, next one. Well, here we go. 
<laughs> um, I'm going to say not cancel. I think these girls have a small window and I think they should try and get as much as they can out of it. I don't think they're going to last very like long, maybe five years, but I think they should try and milk it. I think and make the money like Grace Helbig did. And then hopefully like, you know, not have to work or work as hard later on or like the Fowler sisters. Do you, I don't know if you guys remember, you know, you definitely don't Josh Blair and L they were huge YouTubers just like them. They had all their beauty, everything. And uh, they kind of just fell off and uh, they don't have the personality to carry it. So I think for now, don't cancel them. I got to be honest. So you're kind of, yeah. you're going back on kind of what you're saying though. Weren't you kind of like on TikTok pretty much saying to cancel them? I wasn't saying cancel. I'm like, oh, check yourselves. Both of you dancing to the N word and the other girl calling me out. Like, you know, I was, that was more of it. I didn't say cancel. Them. I mean, I feel I like they, that was them responding though, because you said stuff. They didn't just like go ahead and start dancing to a video of you saying. They totally like, did. You, they, they, but that James was Charles brought up something I said 10 years ago and Dixie decided it was a good idea to dance to the N word that I said 10 years ago in this climate of black lives matter. It was like weaponizing racism against racism. White, white people using right. it. It was gross. It was so disgusting and it was not warranted. All I said was like, Oh, they acted kind of bratty, not eating a snail. And they're like, well, you said the N-word and we're going to dance to it and show everybody that you're racist. I'm like, girl, you like check yourself. That was it. That, that was a poor song to choose for sure by them in this climate. Right. But I will say yeah. what your answer to them seemed like a 180 to what you just said to Addison to this. Like you basically you just gave the you gave the you you went. You did 180. The, they're like the same people. <laughs> yeah, you went from Addison, whose family is involved, so you're like cancel, and yeah, then like, Emilio's right, family is involved, but it's not cancel. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Addison got a movie, and she's all that, so maybe she can parlay something into like acting. So cancel her off TikTok. These girls are not going to get very far outside of TikTok. So I said, don't cancel them. Let them have their spotlight. Addison getting canceled would be a great thing for her. She can parlay that into acting or something else. Maybe just maybe not TikTok, where she's getting this like ego right now. So you think that the future is brighter for Addison than than the? Sister? Sisters, which I don't absolutely okay. I never actually had a problem with Addison until I saw her on the on the podcast it just rubbed me the wrong way but yeah I think she has way more going for her as far as you know talent and opportunities okay definitely cancel there's not a bigger you hate pesticide James on the Charles. internet what'd, huh? you, what'd you call him a pesticide <laughs> pesticide why do you hate him so much he is absolutely disgusting on so many levels. He takes everything and twists like every everything that he's never wrong. My biggest thing is with someone is like, hey, take accountability. You know, that's why I don't really like love Logan Paul or Jake Paul, but they take accountability. They like own up when they're wrong. That's why him and like David. But James is even worse because James just gets things wrong so many times. He said that I loved Hitler in his TikTok. He goes, Trisha said Hitler wasn't that bad of a guy. I was like, when did I ever say that? Like he gets so much shit wrong and can never take accountability for anything. He just hides, he's a little he's a little leech onto these people and he's best friends with a 16 year old self-admittedly. And I was like, that's weird. I don't care if you're gay or straight, don't be best friends with a 16 year old when you're 21, it's gross. 21, 16 is not that different, but just for the it's record. It's very different. It's very different. I mean, different. Bryce, was, Bryce was like 21 when I was 17 and we hung out. It's, so I would have been a minor and he was older. I, I wouldn't say that was weird. There's a that big Bryce was power struggle. There's a, I'm, I'm telling you that I, I, just from my own personal experience, and maybe not everyone has had these experiences, but there is something very wrong about someone being friends with a minor, point blank period, 17 and under. Like, it's just wrong. I don't care if you're almost, like, it's gross. Like, and 21's big difference in 17 and 18. 21 is, is, is it, it's not right. You shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't I, be hanging out alone with a 16-year-old. Can we get you on the record as just saying Hitler was a bad guy? Hitler was not a bad guy. I'm no, he, learning more about him every day. Wait, <laughs> no, you just said he wasn't a bad guy. No, you're right. You said he yeah. was not a bad guy. I think we got. I think we all got to unite that Hitler was a bad guy. James he was Charles. Guy. James Charles said on his TikTok, Trisha says Hitler wasn't that bad. I was like, that's right. what James terrible. Charles put in my mouth. Right. We we want to clarify that you think Hitler. Yeah, was bad. we want you to say he's terrible right now. <laughs> yeah. I don't like Hitler. I hey, there we am go. not in support of him. Oh, okay. There we go. Thank Next God. Time. Holy fuck. <laughs> Ah, uh, never cancel Shane. He is, he's, he's, he's a treasure. He's the real one. And he's super sweet and humble and kind. And, um, I definitely think he took accountability and took his break off the internet and stuff like that. But he's, he's, I will a thousand percent say he's not a bad guy. He's apologized time and time again, has taken accountability for jokes that were made before I even met him, which was over 12 years ago. Were they gross and disgusting? Yes. Was it a different time? Yes. Louis C.K. makes jokes like that. It's they're gross and it's well, not good canceled. for our time. Louis, Louis C.K. got canceled for like whipping his dick out in front of like people. Yeah. 
He did, but he didn't. Like, he still has his show airing and stuff on, like, FX and specials. And it's, like, it, it, it you know, it, it's a different time. And Shane did this in 2009. What did he get canceled for? I don't even know. He was, like, he was pretending to, like, jerk off on, uh, like, Will Smith's daughter when she it was, like, a poster of Will Smith's daughter when she was, like, nine years old or something. He got canceled for a lot of stuff, like, blackface. Yeah, there were, yeah, racist, there were many pedophilia, things. lots of stuff. Do you think he'll return to the internet, Trisha? Yeah, I have a good feeling he will. I don't know in what capacity. I think, I think like, I think he will. I mean, I think people also miss him. You know, I think they cancel him. And then, but he's not as I, I know a lot of people and like a lot of people have evil or like bad intentions. And like, he, he really like doesn't. And, and I don't excuse it or anything, but I do understand like, you know, he came from like a pretty traumatic childhood and stuff like that. He so, talks openly about it. So you, you think that James has like evil intentions versus compared to Shane Dawson? Because oh, I've James? met James and I've only gotten good vibes from Sh James. I think James seems like a sweet guy. And um, what yeah, I've well, seen you're from popping, You're a TikToker and you're young. You're the right age for James, right? He wants to Ooh. leech onto the new generation. Not in that way, but like he leeches onto the new generation because he was dying after the on YouTube after the Tati scandal. So of course he's going to be nice to you and stuff. But he has very malice intention for sure with the Tati, with the James. He's very he's very calculated and he's very evil. And to even put words in my mouth that I don't say, I was like, okay, you're just being like an evil like little bit. All right. And that's what it, James is. James is I heard, like James. Is I heard worse. some different things about certain people putting words into Tati's mouth, but not James, not James telling Tati what to say. But I don't really know on that situation. I don't really know. Uh, like, I don't know, James. I don't I've never met him. Um, but just how he acts towards me or even H3, the guy that I host with, you know, he stole a sweatshirt design and he's like, too bad. I'm still selling him. Like he openly admitted in the DMs that he stole the design and he was being a little like bitch about it. I was like, oh. I will he's just, say he's just gross. that is something always I feel like to clarify in some things like you. So, you know, Shane, personally, you don't know James Charles at all. Like, so you're, you're going off what you hear or whatever. Like, you don't have. A, no, a, I, I go off how James is treating me online. He's he's he made up straight up lies about me in that thing, saying that I voted for Trump, like all this crazy shit. I mean, those are just lies. Like, you don't lie on someone's name. I control and I've done some shit, but I've never lied on someone's name. I think that's so gross and disgusting. That's not fair to paint someone in that in that light. Okay, next one. I think mm -hmm. I know the answer here. Cancel all day. <laughs> Cancel. David David doesn't take accountability. David gets away with a lot of shit and a lot of like stuff that people don't talk about. And I think he should be canceled. Will he be canceled? Absolutely not. He'll probably be around forever. But I think um, I think uh, people get burnt out of him over time. But again, I'm glad. I mean, I mean, he's successful, so I'm not trying to like stop him. But I think he should be canceled. Next one. Um... I'm gonna say not canceled. I, I don't I don't know. She hangs out with Tony Lopez, but I guess he should be canceled, not her. So by association, I don't believe she should be canceled. I don't, I think she's relatively unproblematic, so I'm gonna say not canceled. I don't. Yeah, know. she's she, she's nice. She's actually a nice person. Yeah, she seems she seems fine. I don't know her, but she seems fine. Okay, next. Oh, uh, I'm going to say not cancel. I know we have like back and forth beef or maybe one sided beef on my end, but uh, I don't I don't think so. I, I actually see like I don't know. I think she's just kind of I think she so comes from like a troubled childhood, too. And I and I kind of relate to that. And I give her a little bit more of a mm. pass than maybe I would a privileged child. Maybe that's un like not fair, but that's how I see it. So not canceled. Why would people cancel her? Like, what, think, why is she on the list? Did she do something? No, because of Trisha's got beef it. with got her it. and got Jason. It. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So, so though, like, still no, no on the threesome, probably with Adam <laughs> yeah. and maybe um, with the new boyfriend. Maybe on OnlyFans if I can sell it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. Oh, <laughs> um, we're going to cancel her. You made some TikToks about her recently, so that's why we I really it. had a problem with her, and I think this is just because it's like my little like soapbox that I have is uh, her sticking out her belly, trying to show that she was fat, and insinuating that people with bellies were ugly when she doesn't even have one. I was It pissed me off. This girl pissed me off on a whole other level. I don't know much about her other than she dated Jake Paul, but cancel her for sure. Like You could have insecurities as a skinny girl for sure, but show those insecurities. Don't try to push your stomach out like you have a belly when you don't, and then insinuate those bellies are ugly. Like That was bullshit. So cancel. This is the hardest cancel so far. Okay. Yeah, I don't know that was. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say there was some was passion behind that cancel. I know. I'm 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 angry with her still. <laughs> she's hot. Uh, she's so hot. <laughs> she I is. know. I, that's what I wanted to look like. She's uh, perfect in I mean, every way. I, but I have that... no idea who she is, but she's hot. 
She, she dated Jake Paul. Paul. She, I think she's, that's who I want to look like. I think she's gorgeous. There's no issue with that. Just don't try and make fun of fat people, please. We have our own problems with our bellies. We don't need skinny people trying to make fun of us too. Okay, next. <laughs> I'm going to say not cancel. I, I met Jake. I think he's very sweet. I think he's very uh, misunderstood. And his ego is his character online. Um, you know, I like when he goes live or when, uh, like even in person, like he's very, very sweet and like humble, which I love. Like he was super humble when we came to his house, like was very like, Oh, let me like give you some food to go. Like very, very sweet. Um, and I think that's the humility that I would like to see with like the Demelias and Addison, because even on live, they still think that they're just like the shit. So which is crazy. he's say, able to cut it off and on like really quick i feel like like on and off camera he can just like snap into being on camera and snap off like that jay totally like, he's very talented at that i think so good he's he's very talented and i i don't like him or his persona necessarily but i do think he's a really nice guy and i think that's why he's lasted and so is logan because they kind of they're able to like you said tr- they know when to like be on be off apologize all that they definitely recreate i think most people though the outside world would be like how could you say he doesn't have an ego and the demello twins do because right. they seem far uh, more yeah. humble with everything i see he's out here now i gr- grant it's like a character but you know he's, he's i mean even the picture that we're using compared to the, the picture Demilio's, the video like, he just made challenging like what? conor mcgregor which i get is this but he he certainly doesn't come across to the, most of the world as not having a giant ego but I think right. that's the thing. The D'Amelios and Addison do. And then when you see them in their real light, like when they're off of TikTok, when you see them kind of get a little nasty, you're just like, oh, OK, like that's that kind of person. Because I thought they were just like sweet, like sweethearts. And then all of a sudden they get like so nasty. And I was like, oh, my God, like where did these people come from? As opposed to Jake, he's like a wrestler, right? He's like on and then it's off. So I think it's a little bit of an opposite, like an inversion thing. OK, right. Next. I mean, I, would you would you would you have spit up the snail, though, Trisha? Like, honestly, can you eat snails? No, in all seriousness, it doesn't deserve to be canceled, but no, but I think it was a little like whoever edited it, it should have edited out. They looked, they looked bratty that whole dinner. They were rude to their parents, the little snail situation, the comment, like it was just, she, James was talking and in the middle of it, she was, and it's like, okay, if they told you to do that girl, like get a new team because you just look so, it just looked bad. I don't think it should have been like cancelable, but I just, I, you know, it was, it was bad. I was like, Jesus, like, I mean, why are these girls? they're like teenage girls though and they got right fed if someone told me to okay. apologize for spitting out a snail i would literally just be like fuck you like fuck God, you i'm not so apologizing mad. for shit i don't think I spit people were saying snail. that i think they were just reacting and then they took it to i didn't say apologize or cancel them i was just like okay brat like what the hell like and she's 19 so don't say she's a little girl like charlie gets a pass whatever i don't even come for charlie that hard charlie came for me but dixie she's 19 like i'm so tired of people being like she's a little kid it's like she's not 19 year olds know about her like you know i don't think it Again, no better. I'm a Dixie stan, but I don't think it was, again, no is better not to, like, spit out. And you're trying to create content or be, like, over the top. But anyway. Dave, we need to get you a shirt that says uh, Dixie stan. I'm a Dixie stan. All right, guys. Roback Active Wear. The guys over at Roback have been sending us a bunch of really cool stuff, including performance hoodies, Q-zips, and polos. And I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm in love with their stuff. We all are. Roback's performance hoodies are simply next level. We never have worn something so soft and stretchy. Sometimes we even wear them without anything underneath because they're so soft. You know, we get a little risque with it. So trust us when we say these hoodies are a must buy. As we head into the prime hoodie season, go get your Roback performance hoodies. They're hands down the best performance polos in the game. Like I said before, the fabric is so comfortable and stretchy. You won't even want to take them off. Perfect for a day in the sun or for a dinner out with your girl. No one does polo like Roback. So, guys, do yourself a favor and go check out their Instagram at Roback or just straight up visit their website, Roback.com, and use code Josh for a generous 20% off your first purchase through the end of this week. That's spelled R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com, and it's 20% off all performance polos, Q-zips, and hoodies with code Josh. So go check them out at Roback.com. Last, oh, Boomer, we got Zoomer versus Boomer. Let's do it. So this game we've played before, but basically these are intended to be famous people, either from Josh's generation, my generation. We didn't hit any of them the first time we played it, but see who recognizes it. If we both get it, how famous. So this is the second time we've played the game. Zero percent hit rate the first time. Oh, oh. (laughs) Fuck, I don't know the name. Mel Gibson, wow. 
I was on the same page. Dude, I was on face. set with his son. You I, did, did, I did an independent movie with his son. That's even worse. How do you not know? Have you ever seen Braveheart? Uh, no. Damn. Maybe the one of the best movies of all time. Watch Braveheart. Do me a favor. Watch Braveheart. All right. All right, I will. It's unbelievable. Ugh. I have no idea. I know uh, this guy. Silver Rick, Ricky Schroeder. I have no fucking clue. Like Silver Spoons. No, he's a he's a rapper, Kid Leroy. This guy's a rapper, yeah. a famous rapper. Oh, yeah. How old is really he? Really famous now, actually. He's 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 young. He's popping right now, though. I think he's only seventeen or eighteen. Yeah. Well, he's the one that did the Addison Ray song, right? The first one. Uh, yeah, I think so. And then he was yeah. also like mentored by Juice World. Yeah. R.I.P. Oh, you know yep. now. <laughs> now. Now Dave educated himself. Huh. Is he like a hard rapper? It's like uh, a it's a rap. little bit like, uh, I wouldn't say he's necessarily like hard. No. Huh. The he doesn't try to display himself yeah, yeah, as right. something he not he, he isn't. Okay. Kid Leroy, yeah. You're never going to get this. Yeah, there's not even a point. Brown and nothing. Nothing. Hootie and the Blowfish, Darius Rucker. Oh, Darius Rucker. Jeez. Wait, wait. You uh, sing Darius Rucker. Oh, yeah. So let's get it to him. All right. Let me uh, – hold on. So let you're me, a big fan, right? I, I, yeah. No, I love – I've actually sang with him, actually. Um, I got to get a beat, though. Sometimes my brain, uh, like, let her cry. I, I need a little, like, taste of his music, Dave. Start singing for us here. Yeah. I've sung on the show before. It's your turn. Do you not know this song? Nope. Nobody knows this song except me. Are you gonna, are you gonna start singing? It? Yeah, I'm waiting for the fucking hook. <laughs> you and me we come from different worlds. You uh. like to laugh at me when I talk to other girls. Other girls. It's a great Hootie and Blowfish is fucking electric great. factory. That was electric. Great. That and Pearl Jim. Oh, I know her. Madison Beer. I, that, nope. That is James Charles. Shut up. That is James Charles. Oh, you. my God. Is, she, is he dressed as Madison Beer? He's just dressed as a girl. Yeah, he's just, he's just makeup on fleet. You really hair, thought hair you in. had that, too. I did think I had yeah. that. You, you totally thought that was Madison Beer. I need to see a side by side of Mass and Beer and her. I feel. Uh, oh, I know. I'm just waiting for Dave. Hopefully, Dave, Dave can get it this time. David Dobrik? Dude, you've had him at Barstool before. This guy? Yes, and he was Coach on the Pico. game last time. He was on what? He, he was on Zoomer Boomer last time, too. Who? But oh, also, um, I think he's um, been to the office. Kai. Kai. Close. Cody Co. Cody Co. Cody, Cody, Cody Co. Co. I'll get him eventually. <laughs> he's uh, he's been to the Barstool offices. I'm like, but not with sure. me. No. Oh, that's um. Fuck. I'm not gonna get the name. Even I'm I I I'm my brain's so dead. He's a Spurs, Wake Forest. Uh, Tim Tim fucking what's his fucking face? Uh, all time Hall of Fame basketball player. Hold yeah, on. I was gonna say he's a basketball player. No, 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 I no, no, no. I can't leave this because I'll get <laughs> crucified. My brain is broken. Uh, what the fuck's his name? Tim Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan. Yeah. <laughs> he got Hell that yeah. before you. Ah! Someone probably told him. I just my brain dies. I'm not. I was having a mental breakdown with my brain. Oh, you guessed him last week. Little, oh, little little pump. Hell yeah. I, I, ironically, like I thought they were baiting me into saying "little pump," so I just didn't do it again. <laughs> oh, uh, Emma Chamberlain. What does she do? She's a YouTuber. Really famous on YouTube. Yeah. She was, uh, she was like filming with the Vlog Squad actually for a little bit, but she blew up before the blog. She started filming with them. It's a fire shirt. She's yeah, models for dope. Louis Vuitton. Oh, she does. Yeah, she must be gorgeous yeah. then. Yeah, she's really pretty. Oh, uh, Lil Xan. Hey, you know he went to the hospital for eating too many bags of hot Cheetos? Yeah. That, that can't be. He had to get, no, no, no. He had to get like his stomach pumped, I think. What does he do? Rap. He raps. So if you want to rap now, you got to just like have your face in tattoos, basically. Yeah. And Lil, Lil something. 
little Zan. He takes a little bit of Zans and then nine bags of flaming hot Cheetos <laughs> and yeah. gets put in the hospital. I think oh, you're gonna know this. That's Dave Chappelle. Yeah, Dave right, Chappelle. Good. Yep. Let's go. go. Fuck yeah. Love it. So his, I, love I wonder if that's how you like truly generational fame. Like you nailed that. I knew that right away. That's the first one that we've both been like right. easy. All yeah. Right. So that's Boomer Zoomer. Always an interesting game. I'm going to get roasted for fitting Tim Dunga's name. So I'm catching up on everything, and I said it in the thing. I actually didn't – because my world is so different, and I was out in L.A. when I met Josh, and I did, like, Impulsive and met with, like, Nelk guys, and, and I did – I don't know. I call it the LA thing, but we're sort of isolated. I feel like in New York where there, it's not this same vibe of all these creators working together. I've always, I, I, I equate it to like game of Thrones where we're just like the North. We're just kind of sitting here by ourselves and we're in our own world and it's different. So when you slid into my DMS, which you did when we have them here and I don't know if you are actually we have to dive into that, to be honest with you. I think that's why I'm nervous and know that I'm gonna have a scandal because I've been, been anticipating this conversation, but also I'm ready to have a scandal. That's obviously why I came on. I do have a lot to say about sliding in your DM. Well, you didn't really do anything that crazy. You just said hello. And then there was like, you asked for drinks. You asked for drinks too. So there was me? a little like, a little tan no, and trying to pull some yeah, moves. She Josh, 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 you're right. I did ask for drinks. And that's where, to be honest, I was debating the deniability of it all. I saw your clip and I was like, oh, I could just say I was saying hi and like wanted a podcast. And then I went back and read it and it was the drinks DM that really sent me. Like there's nothing you could say to like, you know, like justify that like at all. So I wasn't totally aware. And I looked, it's like, holy shit, she's got a bazillion followers and not only that like i had a gazillion of the same so a lot of people who followed me it's like all right so she's real but and i asked a couple girls who i know i'm like do you know this girl tan i think she slid into my dms and they all had the same reaction they're like yep be careful that was like literally <laughs> to a t what they all said honestly that's wild that explains why he left me on scene i didn't leave you on scene <laughs> It was, we were on the other side of the country. I got the vibe a little bit from you, and I said this, and it was a little different from, um, and you you guys are also incestuous out there, but Julia Rose, same kind of vibe. It's like, this girl's just trying to get like, I don't want to say clout because you have it, but a new audience, like, I didn't think you were actually interested. So the question is, Tana, Tana, the question is, were you trying to get with Dave for clout, or do you think Dave's a good looking guy? Or is it the, or is it the Dave has fuck you money? I'm gonna be real. Obviously, I knew at the time he had all of these like call her daddy ass bitches around him. You know what I mean? Like a million loud, flamboyant, like dumb bitches like yelling about sucking dick. Like it's not like I could offer him anything in that sense. It's more so at this time I honestly just really wanted a sugar daddy, and I had this assistant who was fixated on you. It actually was like a like a dare like we were like drunk as fuck i think we were in new york city i think that they like they will a lot of people in my group wanted me to see you know if i could conquer that if the bar stole money was the thing i don't know what you were like either i also thought you were just like a chill fucking rich ass dude and you're actually you know you're scandalous you're scandalous how am i scandalous i'm not fucking scared i mean i'm not really scandalous i actually thought it was the what's that you're outspoken. You're far less passive than I ever thought you would be. Oh, yeah, right. Correct. That's somebody who has no idea who I am if they think I'm like a soft-spoken little like flower. Yeah, definitely not it. I don't what not I thought. Flower. You know, I was like, oh, maybe like, you know, Barstool CEO will get me a Gucci bag when I'm in New York and we can vibe. But like, <laughs> now, it's like, you know, I, I don't know. It's, it's different now, but I, I did slide in. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie about it. I think that it's important. Sometimes you see, you know, successful thriving single CEOs and it's important to shoot your shot. We got Brianna, you're <laughs> going to set this segment up. That's cringe. Oh yeah. Because I mean, they got popular for their, um, that's cringe videos. So we have some cringe TikToks to react to. Oh, sure. I bet you they're going to be all of mine. <laughs> yeah, right. No, I, I tried to go easy on you. I tried to go easy on you. <laughs> Jesus but, Christ died for us. This is the wow. first one. If this girl is not a living Visco filter, I don't want it. Uh, just wait for it. I'm oh, going to no. be the zip tie king. Oh. You think you're strong? Try tying your arms up to a cross and get nailed. That's what <laughs> Jesus did. I'll continue to. <laughs> <laughs> 
Are you sure that was Jesus or that was my guy? I'm so confused by that video. <laughs> he stitched it, and that was his response. Why is that guy even on TikTok? Who is that guy? <laughs> he's nobody. He's trying, to spread, he's trying to spread the good word of the Lord. Yeah. The word of the Lord. He, Lord he's letting everyone know. I yeah. would be very nervous that that dude, the older dude, was on TikTok. Like, I would be nervous that I'm on TikTok. Like, if someone's like, why are you on TikTok? It's like, wait, wait, wait. I have, like, this company. We're trying to, like, spread that guy. Why is that guy on TikTok? Yeah, I wouldn't feel he's safe spreading, alone he's with that. He's spreading the man. word of Jesus, man. He's trying to he's save trying. people. That's that's there. I guess that's a good answer, too. <laughs> you think, think you're it. strong? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I'm getting tied to a cross and getting nailed. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> why do, why do, okay, can I ask you j something, Josh? Why do you guys do these um, TikToks? Do we, yeah, that's, why, yeah. I mean, th that's your boy. Like, those are your people. So why do you guys do these TikToks that like that editing style was for like dying dogs or like, you know, <laughs> orphans in like a foreign country? That's what we older people know that editing style for. Like That's what I think of. So here's what I'm going to say. One, to defend that video of my boy Bryce. Okay. That was like light up a cigarette two years ago, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I two did years do some ago, digging man. for that one. I think he, I think, you know, like he was just, he was just younger at the time. Um, okay. but also, it's like it's just pleasing an audience. I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, clearly, man. It, like, it does. You know, it's crazy, but it's like I don't know how old you guys are, but I grew up like boy band era, and they've just taken like the boy band vibe, and it's just like yeah. on TikTok, and their audience are like twelve to fourteen year old girls who go fucking <laughs> ballistic for that shit. Yeah, but I don't remember the Backstreet Boys ever like. Side eyeing the camera and like bullshit. biting their lip. That's bullshit. Did they? Man. Did they? Yeah, 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 they did. Fuck for yes. sure. It was their Bro, little looks the <laughs> Get out of here. You don't Bro, come on. Big yeah, time. Do you remember okay. those videos I'm of wrong. them on tour and like their fucking buses would be surrounded like it was a riot? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, that may be <laughs> the dumbest thing that's been said on this part. You don't remember the Backstreet Boys like giving those looks to the camera. Come well, on. I want to. I want to. Yeah. No, can we just take? I a see because I feel like they were always like hard. You know, they were produced. It was <laughs> like there was like real choreography going on. <laughs> yeah. They were never like trying to seduce a can like a. I mean, I guess maybe if they had phones now, they'd be like they probably do the same shit. Nah, if they had man. phones back then, they definitely would. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And they fair. were like they they maybe like choreographed. But no, but were. also wasn't one of them like thirty? Well, nah, they were all pretty young. Backstreet. No, boys. I don't think so. No, Backstreet Boys old. were fairly young at the time. Were they they? just looked older. I'm not looking up. Yeah, no, they made it a little. But there's, I remember like videos of them, Backstreet Boys, like near a fireplace, wearing like these turtlenecks, literally just eye fucking the camera. Yeah, 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 that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, did you have that one up in your place? <laughs> I got all of them. Those Backstreet Boys. <laughs> Best concert I've ever been to was like uh, at Fenway Park. It was Backstreet Boys and New Kids on the Block. It was fucking fire. <laughs> I was oh, like yeah. 38 when I went to it. it was <laughs> yeah, awesome. I was going to say, that was like I, recent. Yeah, no, I bought it. I have a t shirt. It's like from Fenway Park on the Green Monster. It says like the original boy band. Damn. That's fire. J Josh, what were you going to say? You were about to say something. You're like, I was just going to say like Dave calling. Uh, Cody's moment there, the dumbest moment on the podcast. Like, Cody, that's devastating, man. <laughs> well, we, we, had Trisha, we had Trisha paid us on this podcast. We <laughs> <laughs> literally said that she likes Hitler. So, <laughs> damn. She did. Damn, we had you know to what? we had to lead her to water on that. We're like, you like Hitler? She's like, ah, uh, yeah, no, no, wrong answer. Like, say it again. Try it again. I saw that clip. That was pretty funny. That was so oh, bad. Man. How many right. seconds are in a year? Probably over 2,000? 12. What? 12 seconds. How? How? Oh, never mind. Now I get it. <laughs> Do you get it? Yeah. Go on. 12 seconds in a year. Well, how do you get it? I don't know. Damn. <laughs> oh, God. That's so embarrassing. That was rough. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah was, I mean, you're on the spot. Even I was a little confused there for a second, like, what the hell was going on? Yeah. Well, I that know was, there's more was, than 12 seconds a year, but it, it, it's so, per, like. <laughs> that was even dumber than my Backstreet Boys thing, right, guys? <laughs> uh, nah. That's the dumbest <laughs> moment. That's the dumbest moment now, right, guys? I'm going to send, I'm going to I'm gonna just send you, like, 3,000 Backstreet videos of them just doing those exact motions. <laughs> do it. Do it. I need proof. <laughs> Five million likes. That yeah. was five million. Damn. So that's obviously not in America. Like I, that wasn't done in America. Do people what are you talking just, about, man? That was Canoga Park. <laughs> what? <laughs> people just like, like walk in slow motion there. Every that's video popping in Ukraine, I guess, is people walk in slow motion. Yeah, I love when they just slow mo just shit that is normal. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, it, it, we're making it seem like it's European. I mean, you, Josh, introduced me to that guy who just like pulls up to a gas station and like gets out at a gas station and dances and they go viral. It's like, what is he doing? It's like, that's his thing. He gets out at a gas station. <laughs> so, I mean, that's true. Yeah, that's a good point. He is shirtless, though. See, even <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. You, the gas yes, I know those kid. videos. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, shit. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Let me ask you a question. Is it is it awkward after you film these? <laughs> like when you put down the camera and you're like, hey, well, why are we in the bathroom together? <laughs> like, like after watching a video like this, probably want to go like bath or like shower. <laughs> yeah. Like that's what I feel like I need to go do now. Yeah. But it's like, I, I don't know why we like just felt not weird filming those videos. <laughs> I, I mean, because it, you guys get like I don't know how many views, but it probably you put it down. You're like, that was lame. Oh, we have like a gazillion views in five seconds. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't so lame. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that Twilight cutscene is hard as shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> good work there, man. Love that, on Josh. Yeah. Uh oh. Okay. This one makes you feel weird. Well, it's already telling me to bite me. <laughs> Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> oh, what if, fuck. Oh, I feel what if, violent. What if you're a dude now? and you do that on accident? So what if, <laughs> you just look up, you look up from your phone. It says, good girl. You're like, hey, bitch, I didn't. What? <laughs> oh, wow. I'm like lost. I don't even. <laughs> uh, that one made me feel really bad. Yeah. I, I feel violated. But I need to go take a shower after. <laughs> TikTok's a weird fucking place. I mean, it really is. Oh, oh fucking Jesus Christ! It's the last one. Last one of this cringe. Roids and boys. Oh. oh, there it is. There it is. What kind of king trying to fuck me? Is this that, love damn. Island? <laughs> that was the first time I met those guys, so it's like all I had seen previously. When I met them the first time, I was like, what do you guys do? And they're like, oh, we wake up, we work out, and we drink like protein shakes. I was like, no, really, what do you do? They're like, no. Like, we're being dead serious. That's what we do. So I joined in. I was, like, sore. I, my camera guy, I was, like, just trying to get the shot. My fucking shoulders almost popped out. <laughs> that's what it is. What is this I'm busy, can I call you back later challenge that it's, it says Josh Dave. Absolutely taking over TikTok, dude. It's, Again. it's a crazy trend. It's, like, a bunch of – it's basically just people showing off – how famous uh, they their friends are. They're yeah, like Rolodexes. Themselves. They're just trying to be like, look at who I get to call. It's and like a flex. Yeah. yeah. Oh, let's, let's see these. these. 
Hey, I'm actually really busy right now. Can I call you later? Here you go with this shit. <laughs> Who Jack is that? Harlow? Jack, Jack Harlow. Jack Harlow. I'm really busy. Can I call you later? Is that Charlie Puth? Yep. I'm really busy. <laughs> She's already started off with two really bangs. Busy. Hey, I'm really busy right now. Can I call you later? What? Blake, Blake Griffin. Griffin. <laughs> yep. Who's so calling? Stassi, Stassi baby. Stassi baby. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm really busy. Can I call you later? Yeah, sure. Pete Davidson. Like, By the way, why? Okay, I'm really busy. Can I call you later? Saquon. What? Yep. What is this list? This is a little TikTok right there. <laughs> hey, I'm really busy. Drake. Can I call you back later? <laughs> Fucking Drake. What? I'm really busy. Can I call you later? That's fuck you talking about? That's <laughs> how. I gotta go. That's how I. Hey, I'm really busy. Can I call you back? Kardashian? I'm really busy. Yeah, I obviously, that Kylie. one was going to be obvious. Gosh, I know this guy. That's her best friend. Like, Kylie baby? and her best friends or whatever. But Drake is, like, the crazy one, right? Who Insane. who knows Drake? And he'll answer, like, yeah, just that Yeah, that's what I'm easily? saying. Like, Drake is, like, the most – you never see him, like, anywhere unless he wants you to see you. You know what I mean? Like, he's very, I feel like, A-list celebrity where it's, like, no access yeah. to them. So I is feel like Stassi, one of you guys should make that. Is Stassi baby like that? world? Like I don't even know who that is. Really. She's she's Kylie Jenner's like best friend. So she best just friend. knows everybody. When Kylie Jenner dropped Jordan Woods, Stassi baby became her like best friend. Yeah. The other ones I have are James Charles and Tana. Were they just as impressive? James they were Charles like, was pretty. James impressive. was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, James. Hey, mom. I'm actually busy right now. Can I call you back a little bit later? What? I'm I'm busy right now. Can I call you back a little bit later? You're busy. Yeah, I'm busy being famous. I have to call you back. Okay, love you. Bye. Oh. What's up? Hey, I'm um in the middle of filming a video right now. Can I call you back later? You you call me. Who's I don't know who that was. Hey, babe. I'm busy right now. Can I call you back later? Little Nas. Yeah. That's Madison Beer. <laughs> hey, I'm actually really busy right now. Can I call you later? Wait, That's mom, BB Raxa. BB, I, I have to go. I'm busy. I'm busy. Uh, who's that lady? What's happening? Hey, I'm actually Rexa. busy right now. Can I, I call you know, back later? Actually, and I don't know who that is. Me. That's Jojo jo jo Siwa. Jo. Hey. hey, I'm super busy right now. Can I call you later? Yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> That's Iggy so, Azalea. Do Just, people know what's happening now at this point? Is that I, why I they're feel not like? like I yeah. Don't know. I, the thing is, too, is that was an old trend, and it randomly just decided to come yeah, back. Yeah, it came that back. Happens on TikTok, but it it's definitely like some people are just faking it now. Because sometimes I see the same person get called in multiple times, yeah. and I'm like, "You're not falling for this more than once. No chance. You're falling for that more than one time." Who would be like the number one famous person you'd call? You have to call that would pick up. Um. I think like the biggest shocker would be someone like Ashton Kutcher, like Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, Shaq Kutcher? would be big. I'm yeah, trying. Shaq would. That that one would be like people would be like. I think more people would say what the fuck because it's a TikToker calling them. Right? Yeah. Like people like there's some people that still view me like in that light, so they'd be like, what? How? Who would you call, Dave? I'm trying to think. I think I know what would get the most reaction probably but i feel like everyone knows who i know so no one would be surprised i knew him but there's it's probably a top five face in like the world just being like, ah and that's guy fieri oh yeah, yeah. right yeah like yeah. he's just so recognizable it's like kevin hart it's like one of those faces yeah. that you kind of see and you're just like ah everyone knows that face like everybody in the world like they'll try it I'll, I'll try it right now could we yeah you should phone? try it and then just tell him yeah. you can't talk right now. Tell him we're busy filming. A and, and by the way, he'll have no idea what this trend is. Oh, he won't know the trend. He'll, he, he, awesome. I think He's going to be mad if he person. does it. Uh, all right. <laughs> what, do you, what, what do I say? You say, hey, I'm busy. Can I call you back? Yeah, so you call them, and then as soon as they answer, just say, hey, I'm busy. Can I call okay. you back? Almost right. as if you were the one answering the phone. You're right, right, right. Yeah. Then just hang up. It's going to be embarrassing if you don't pick up. You may not pick up. <laughs> Hey, wild man. Yeah, no, I can't talk right now. I'll call you back. <laughs> can, can I call you back? Yeah, you can do whatever. All right. Yeah, that works. Did, did you call me or did I call you? You called me. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm sorry. All right. Talk to you later. But hey, we do need to talk here. He's got a lot coming up. All right. Cool. Bye. See you, bud.
<laughs> oh, he fully thought you. He, he just I thought he called it. you. That's the best oh, I ever called you. <laughs> wow, that couldn't have been better. That, that couldn't was have been. awesome. That uh, was perfect. He definitely doesn't know the trend. He's like, oh, I didn't mean to call you. All right, so we got an emergency session of BFFs, and frankly, I'm a little nervous. But we, we oh, already right, let me let me set the stage. We recorded BFFs yesterday, and we're going through our normal routine, and there was one subject in there, and it was like, 